Look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day. But there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation. If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No, not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! What do you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed near the wolf's abode, close to a tree kissed by fire and abreast the rock that does not fit, and a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? I'm a little on edge, Captain. The prospect of Captain Kidd's treasure and the mysteries that lie with it have me a trifle spooked. Stay your anxiety. It is likely only treasure. I thought the same thing, but considering what the man went through to hide it, I'm not so sure. All those scrolls lead us to the belly of this remote island. Awful out of the way, Captain. What was Kidd hiding for cripe's sake? I do not know, but I am intrigued to find out. Remember what was written. 
Close to a tree kissed by fire, near the wolves' abode, under the eagle's bed and the rock that does not fit. Whatever that means. Do you think there might be landmarks? Possibly. That is it. Got it. Got it. Done. Got it. That is it. There. I know where it is. How in the... You figured it out. Oh, that's why you're the captain. Bloody wolves on us, captain! That's a bloody big piece of stone. Any ideas? Perhaps some gunpowder would move it. 
A nice big explosion, eh? Might do the job. We'll do well to scare away any more blasted wolves, that's for certain. <clears throat> I ought to be enough. This is what Captain Kidd suffered over for so long. Astonishing. you there for a moment, Captain. Are you all right? Yes. I think so. What happened down there? What did you find? That's it. A single gold coin. There was nothing else. Was the cash pilfered already? Ah! What the devil? I do not know how it works, but I now understand why Kid valued it so. That's a curious little piece, isn't it? Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic field, explains its aversion to metal, also explains why Kid's legend tells of him being invincible. Having that trinket in your pocket would easily bend a musket ball's trajectory. Nifty little thing, really. Anyway, just thought you want to know. Please do carry on.
is um to go and hold the stone. どこ The glory is the Oknahoda. He got Oya Ganyaka Haga to Nadaro who nature hot saga. The Nuzini Joganeno ya unka dejet his what nedas. Oknize, the Seswa nedas ne batrio. Gohnek nika scarnic side the water de Wanio ne. The dirty under the dear no haga to Nenu netiko on a gonter on a jata weed. O honor lune then your underios won't carry what hair has a hadinuna zijuana stag. Doga ayakia jatar has said zero naderio. Ya tota is a wire in a yetia jat darhasse. There's a don's only got the guy a kia jat darhasse and a or we are on a jat the weedum. Gasconics ne dosa ganega is a way at the rajid ziwa de rio. The sconics eat ne ya utena tae guire. Nixi walk the runids ya gariwest tota yo dumhaget. Walk the runids in ingway at the wanser in Jadadeco. A guegun dat kanu to nyungo zin hot danso wa si runyu. Da wa gat ni gor harha zin hot zadum. Ja shewer Next year, eager headed どうしたじゃにごら、あしただでにごららがなってくてる。のな、あまでりよせらんだね。のな、あまだでわにをはげ、とね、あんごどりさ。あやんしきよしのれ、あんたにじりへわ。いいおに。どうしたあごよったち
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find Church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Father. Connor. Any last words? Wait. A poor choice. <coughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he'd stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom. Justice. Independence. What? Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. 
I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates, medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? If you mind, just do as I ask. Thanking me when you hear what he's got planned. About 
time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York, the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right. I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. Then you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Once you've dealt with these louts, meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave? Now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Commander, I have failed them, Connor. Only look around to know my words are true. This revolution once seemed a righteous thing. Our cause, pure and just. We asked only for what all people deserve. Liberty, equality, and respect. The Empire should have embraced us. Instead, they pushed for war. A war, it seems, they are now destined to win. I dared to dream of better things. Behold what it has wrought. Such dark thoughts will cripple a man. But only if he lets them. Look again. 
Out there stand men and women determined to be free. Such a struggle is rarely easy and never without sacrifice. I have often asked myself a thousand times if I would not be happier back amongst my people, living a quieter, simpler life. But if I abandon my cause, if you abandon yours, Commander, who would take our places? And what would become of the people who rely upon us? It isn't right that they should suffer when I do not. If the ground must be their mattress, so too will it be mine. And what about the storm? If I can't take a stand against some snow, then there really is no hope for us. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. 
recovered from your beating then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement?
That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The Father of Understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How is she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. That's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuits. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two! Get him! Don't let them escape! Get it! The Indian, too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! I'm 
where is church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. Get out of here! You don't say. Do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready.
can I do for you? Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. The welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son.
It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! Full sail! It's almost as though you want him to escape! ship, given the way you sail. Hurry, son. We won't get a second chance at this. No faster! She's passing between the cliffs, boy! And the Aquila's too big to follow! We need to go around! God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Bring her close! To arms! To arms! Man! 
Time to swivel! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the upline! High off the bow! I need to get him back. Who knows what madness my father intends? What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you. Working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the quietude with which you pulled it off! We had a dream, Benjamin! A dream you sought to destroy! And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay! Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Go to hell. I ask again. Where are the supplies? Uh, on the island beyond there. Uh, awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets? Forged from British steam, who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. Zawanios Gina, the Tiahne de Gantu Titogaske. You did well. This path 
passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. 